Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Rachel and it is lovely to have you join me today. So we are going to do a senior Pilates workout. This is going to be a floor based workout today. So uh, very important that you can make sure that you are able to get down on the floor, but more importantly, able to get up again after. All right, it's all going to be on the floor and we'll try and do 10, 15 minutes. All right, so uh, go and get yourselves ready and I'll see you very soon. Okay, let us begin. So we are going to lie down and hopefully you're on something nice and comfy like a rug or a mat if you have one and you are going to have your knees bent and your feet hip width apart and your knees hip width apart so i want you to look up and check that your knees are in line with your hip bones so they're not too wide but also not completely together we want a neutral position with the spine and with your knees uh, bearing in mind this is a senior Pilates workout I know sometimes we can have issues in our knees so I want you to put your feet where your knees are comfortable yeah if your knees are uncomfortable really bent like this then just send them out a little bit further find the place where it feels okay for you all right and then we're going to bring the hands down by our side and we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose and as you breathe out through the mouth, I want you to pull the belly button in and just do a gentle tilt at the pelvis so you can feel your spine pressing into the carpet or the mat underneath you. And then you're going to inhale as you go back. All right, so you're going to exhale, tilting the pelvis and inhale to return. We're going to exhale to tilt and inhale return so we're doing this just to gently stretch your lower back before we go into the next movement so it's a gentle rock back and forth well done we'll do one more little tilt and come back okay so we're going to lift now now i often find with my senior uh, members of class when you start to lift up you can get a bit of cramp in your hamstrings so if you do get cramp don't worry just come down give your legs a little stretch out like this and then try again all right so we're going to place the hands down you're going to take a deep breath in and as you breathe out you're going to tilt the pelvis towards you press down into the feet and peel the hips up off the floor all right and you're trying to push up through the legs on the bottom so this is going to really help strengthen the gluteal muscles and all the leg muscles all right so this will help with hip and knee issues then you're going to inhale there and as you exhale you're going to slowly come back down through the spine and onto the floor so we're going to take a deep breath in we're going to breathe out to tilt the pelvis press down into the feet and lift the hips up then you're going to inhale there exhale relax through the chest coming down through the spine and back onto the floor and again deep breath in breathing out so tilting as much as you can pressing down into those feet lifting up pushing up through those legs inhale and exhale as you come back down good deep breath in exhaling to tilt and roll the spine up inhale and exhale coming all the way back down and returning to your start position okay so from here we're going to reach the arms up we're going to do a gentle stretch of the upper part of the spine so i want you to keep your ribs down try and feel the back of your ribs pressing into the floor underneath you and turn your palms away from you and now you're going to inhale and you're just going to gently reach overhead as far as your shoulders are happy to go 
If you can reach all the way, then that's great. You're getting a really good stretch through the upper back. We're also working those back muscles, and then we're gonna bring the arms back. So keeping your shoulder blades down on the floor, you're gonna inhale, reaching the arms overhead, and exhale to come back up. And again, we're gonna inhale, reach the arms overhead, and exhale to come back up. Good, inhale, reaching arms overhead. And exhale back, and one more. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, and exhale back. Now you're gonna turn your palms towards each other, and we're gonna inhale and open the arms out to the side. So a nice stretch through the front of the chest, and exhale to come up. You're gonna inhale to open, and exhale up. Inhale to open. Try and do that deep breathing if you can, because we're going to get some oxygen in the body. It will help with the movements. Inhale to open. Exhale up. And last one, we're going to inhale to open. And this time, you're just going to rest your hands down on the floor where they are. And you're going to bring your feet and your knees together. All right, and we're going to keep them nice and together there. And from there, you're going to breathe in and just take your knees over to the right hand side. We're going to try and keep the ribs down here and think of the movement coming from your waist. Okay, so this is to work through the spine and the core, and then the exhale, you're going to come back to the center. Then the other way, you're going to inhale over and exhale back. Inhale as you go over, and exhale back. So trying to stay really still through the top half of the body. Inhale over, exhale back. We'll do two more. Inhale over, exhale back, and inhale over, and exhale to come back. Now you're going to separate your feet and knees just a little bit. You're going to interlace your fingers and you're going to take your hands behind your head, open your elbows up and then we're going to take a breath in and as we breathe out we're going to pull the belly button in and try and lift the head and chest up and look towards your knees but try not to let the bottom half of the body move. So we're really stable through the lower part of the spine. Then you're going to inhale and exhale to come back down. So you're going to take a breath in and breathing out to lift. Inhale to hold and exhale to lower down. Deep breath in and exhale to lift. Inhale, hold and exhale to lower. And one more deep breath in. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale to hold and exhale to lower. You're going to bring your arms back down by your side and we're going to do a little exercise just for the knees. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath in and as you exhale you're just going to extend the leg from the knee. So you're getting a nice little stretch but we're also activating our knee muscles and inhale lower and just tap the floor. So think of extending that leg and think of the kneecap pulling up. So you don't want to overly straighten the leg because we want to try and work these muscles around the knee and lower, just touch the floor. Exhale, extend and inhale lower. We're going to do two more. Exhale, extend and inhale lower and exhale, extend and inhale lower. Rest that foot down, changing legs. Exhale, extend. We're trying to keep still in the pelvis. So this is working your core as well. Inhale lower, tap the floor. Exhale, extend, and inhale, lower, tap the floor. Exhale, extend, and lower. Exhale, extend, and lower, and exhale, extend, 
and lower. Now let's interlace those fingers again. Take the hands behind the head. We're going to lift the chest up. We're going to add a little rotation now. So you're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out. Lift the head and the chest up, looking towards those knees. And then you're going to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I want you to exhale and just look just past your right thigh. So you're just rotating slightly with the chest. Then you're going to inhale, come back to center. You're going to exhale, rotate the other way. And inhale, center center. So it's exhale to rotate, inhale center. Exhale to rotate, inhale center. Last two. And center. And center. Take a deep breath in and breathing out, coming back down onto the floor. All right, so we're going to move from knees to hips now and I want you to float one leg up, doesn't matter which leg, whichever leg you feel like starting with. And we want the knee just above the hip joint. The other leg is going to stay bent. And I want you to imagine with this knee, you're going to draw a little circle. It's almost actually like a, it's like the, uh, like a capital D kind of shape. So what you're going to do is you're going to send the knee forward slightly. You're then going to take it out to the side and draw a little circle. So it doesn't look like a lot, but there's quite a lot going on in your hips. So I'm going to recommend you put your hands out to the side for a bit of stability. You're going to take the knee forward out to the side and up. And you're trying to keep the other leg still. You're trying to keep your hips and pelvis still as well. So keep it small, leg forward, out to the side and up. And forward, out to the side and up. Now we're going to reverse it. So take the knee out to the side, down, forward and up. Out to the side down, forward, and up. Side, down, forward, and up. And side, down, forward, and up. We're going to take that leg down. And you can feel that's quite challenging, isn't it? To stay really stable when you do that. So let's go on to the other side. Let's think of staying nice and still through the hips, through the ribs, through the other leg and float that leg up. All right, so we're going to send the knee forward, out to the side and up. Forward, out to the side and up. Forward, out to the side and up and forward, out to the side and up. Let's change direction. Inhale out, exhale down, around and up. Inhale out, exhale down, around and up. Inhale out, exhale down, around and up. And inhale out, exhale down, around and up up. Well done. We're going to take the legs down and I'm going to get you to turn towards me onto your side and depending on how your neck feels you can get a cushion under your head or if your neck feels okay you can have your hand like this. You can put a cushion under or you can put your arm like this just to give you some support if there's any discomfort here. Okay, so I'm going to leave my arm out because that feels okay for me. And what I want you to do is send both legs out, one on top of the other. You're going to have this hand down for a bit of support and you can have this hand in front of your chest. All right, and the idea is we're just trying to balance on our side, which in itself is going to work your core, all right? And then all we're going to do is lift the top leg up. So you're going to exhale to lift that leg up and you're trying to stay really stable in the hips and inhale to lower down. We're going to exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and lower. And one more, exhale to lift and lower. You're going to bend both your knees. You're going to press yourself up and you're going to put your elbow 
just underneath your shoulder here, okay? And then we're lifting up through the side. We're going to take the arm out. We're going to do a little bit of weight bearing here. So if you can, I want you to press into that elbow and lift your hip off the floor. Bring the other arm up and take the arm over. So you're trying to get a nice little curved shape and a stretch through the side. Inhale back to the T position and then you're going to lower back down. So we're going to breathe into lift. Breathe out to go over. Inhale up and lower down. Deep breath in and over. And up and lower down. And one last time up and over. And lift and lower down. Well done. So we're going to come on to the other side now. So same two exercises on this side. So you're going to start by laying down and reaching those legs out. You're completely balanced on your side. All right, so you're trying to get one hip above the other. So we don't want to be like this, rolling forward or back, completely balanced there. Get your head comfy and then you're going to exhale, lift the top leg up and inhale lower down and the idea is as we lift that leg nothing changes because we're using all our core muscles to stay still in the body exhale lift and lower down lift and lower down and one more lift and lower down let's bend the knees come on up elbow underneath your shoulder Knees are bent and arm out to the side. Then you're going to breathe into lift. Breathing out, going over. Inhale up and exhale, lower down. You're going to take a deep breath in and over. And up and lower down. Two more. Deep breath in and over and up and lower down and deep breath in and over and up and lower down all right we're going to come into a kneeling position to finish now so i want you to be kneeling on all fours knees apart and lengthen through the spine so imagine there's a thread from the top of the head going out through the tailbone nice and elongated what i often find with um seniors is we can be sort of feel a bit like this all right and you think that you're straightening but you're not so if you are able to let's try and get a little bit less rounded and the way to think about that is to push into your hands and think about trying to widen the space between the collarbones and then from there you're going to take a breath in and you're going to breathe out and just draw the tummy in and tuck the tailbone under but without moving your upper back so we're not doing this we're keeping upper back still we're just doing a little tuck and then we're going to reach back so it's an exhale little tuck and reach back a little tuck and back so we're just activating the core using those spinal muscles and one more and back so keeping that sense of elongation and activeness in the upper back you're going to tuck the toes under and you're going to do a little lift if you can knees off the floor for a moment and back down it's a bit of a challenge that one isn't it exhale lift the knees and lower down lift the knees and lower down you've got two to go lift the knees and lower down and lift the knees and lower down and that's it you're all done for today all right so that was a nice little workout that was a senior pilates mat work workout so if you found that challenging that's great because if it's challenging it means you're using your muscles so that's really really good and i would say try and do it three times a week that would be really good you will definitely notice an improvement in your strength 
after about six weeks all right and if you want to I'm going I've got two other workouts I've got a chair based workout so if that was too challenging and you would rather work in a chair there is a chair based workout you can do and there's also a senior standing Pilates workout which is going to work on your balance and coordination all right so I hope you enjoyed it do share with all your friends and I look forward to seeing you again soon take care and bye for now